Eve represents anarchy, punk rock, living, freedom, energy, family. I come here and I feel like I'm at home. promotion and because it is my heart and soul and Dan it is also a grassroots punk movement DIY DIY movement of people who just believe in women and believe that women should be loud and powerful and never made to feel small through the medium of pro wrestling my name's Chris and I have a lot of feelings that I haven't dealt with yet but I'm trying to figure them out in the ring well, I think that's one of the things that I enjoy about Eve is like, um, I never thought of being a pro wrestler. I had seen it like glimpses of it when I was living in America. But all those women are so tall, so busty. They look like superheroes. It wasn't until I went to Japan and saw little Asian girls flying around beating each other up that I thought maybe I could do that too. And here we have like so many different types of women. Right now we're in a, a wonderful revolution of women being respected and given that appreciation that they actually deserve. And outside of the ring, I'm, I'm like this, but I try to keep my gimmick up so when I'm around fans and stuff, I won't, I won't talk to them, just so that I can keep that sort of perception up of me being a, a bitch, basically. I've always liked women's wrestling. We've both been to a lot of women's wrestling shows up and down the country. The talent that you can get is off the charts. It's as good as any of the men's wrestling you'll see anywhere, if not better. Like travelling sort of two, three hours, like four hours. So we come from Norfolk, so that's about like 100 miles. From Manchester, I woke up at five in the morning. We came down from Leeds yesterday morning, got up at the crack of dawn. It's highly underrated. Everybody thinks that it's all show and like they're less talented than they are when it's actually the opposite and they're just not given the time to showcase their talent. Ten years ago it was um, it was just tits and ass, but nowadays it's um, it really is they can compete with the best of them. The time is now you know there's a massive uprising of, of um, the indie scene so females need to just try it. I watched their like YouTube trailer and I was like oh my god I miss it so much because we filmed uh, Glow last year and I just have got the wrestling bug after filming it so I just wanted to come down and check it out and see like the London wrestling scene. I've always seen women as the underdogs, you know, because that's the way they're treated but I've always respected what they do. That's it, we say as hard as men but it's harder. Does anybody here actually think that we're putting on less of a show? Yeah. Emily and I literally were so fucking much into this. And when I mean like it gets to the point where like we're looking at our account and there's 30 quid in there. Okay, so today's the day we make everyone fucking aware of us. Literally today's the day we make everyone fucking aware of us. <laughs> Wrestling is something that's told verbally and something that's told physically and something that everyone all across the world can relate to. It's beautiful. And yeah, it can be cheesy, but it can be intense and it can be emotional. And it's a beautiful way to tell a story.
I really just don't want Sammy Jane to win. Because like I was in the match with her when I got injured and it's it's not because of that, but since then like she's very been very open about the fact she's almost happy that she hurt me because now that me gillies it like this belt open for her. And like that's just despicable and disgusting and horrible and it's not someone I ever want to represent Pro Wrestling Eve. So not Sammy Jane. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for me to introduce to you your evening's host, your ring announcer, my beautiful wife, Emily! I'm gonna crack on with the show after someone has got me a shot because I, I, get, I get too nervous and you know there's a bit about my mental health problems but I can assure you I can drink on my pills. I've practiced to wrestling! If anyone hears you say something that can be classed as hate speech, I will personally throw your ass out of here. <laughs> Introducing first, setting women's wrestling back five years every time she wrestles, the session moth, Martina! I found you a real athlete, someone who is going to help you. Her name is Shonda. Some of the stuff I did today and yesterday, I'd never done before. You will not see any other girl do something with a can. You'll never, you won't see any other girl be drunk. Like, that's my thing. I'm gonna find something that's my thing. They're there supporting you, whether it's cheering or booing. You know you're doing your job right and you know that they're enjoying themselves. And as I said, that's what your job is, is to make sure that crowd enjoys themselves. So when I get the reactions that I want from the crowd, that's, that's exactly why I do it. I think the whole, like, the fact, the fact that like, the fans are so much closer to the wrestling in itself, it just builds the whole atmosphere. Like So intimate and like you're literally right there. Like I've always wanted to touch a wrestling ring and when you go to like the big shows, it's obviously you can't get close. But with this, it's like, it makes me want to do it, like myself. The experience of realising how many people there are out there who share your interest, but also you're so close to the wrestling. I mean, you, even when you make your entrance, they're like really close to you, so you, you really get the contact. The whole atmosphere is just fantastic. You, know, you can't describe it in a way. You're right. There might only be 70 people in there, but it sounds like 7,000 when you're in the ring. They're a super inclusive space, and that's what wrestling can be for a lot of people. You need that special ingredient of like, it's about the character, it's, it wasn't about moves, it was about the girls, like people cared about those two girls. Uh, and I think that Pro Wrestling Eve is really good at like just sprinkling that little ingredient. Gentlemen, are you ready for a new Pro Wrestling Eve champion to be crowned?
I won't lie, like, she's a great wrestler, but her attitude fucking stinks. She doesn't deserve to be the champion. And it breaks my heart. Like, it broke my heart. I had to count it in the ring. I had to do the one, two, three, because the ref was like, show I've, I've ever seen. I wish I'd been a part of it because it was the best Eve show I've seen. Like, it was so good. It's good to know that I can have fun at my job because this is my job and this is what I love doing, so... Seeing shows like tonight just makes me really hungry. I just want to get in there and, and wrestle with some of the best female wrestlers in London. It's just amazing. It's just, there's fucking thousands of them everywhere. Whichever country you look at, there's thousands of them. I'd much rather come down here and watch what these girls can do. Like, it's not just the fact that you've got two guys beating each other up. There's a whole entertainment side to it. You've got so many different characters now that people get, like, emotionally invested. Sometimes, you know, you might want to watch a classic Shakespeare play. Sometimes you want to watch Terminator. Both are just as entertaining, just in different ways, and wrestling should be treated exactly the same. I basically drive people to the venue. But basically, this is what I do at the moment. These guys have undersold themselves massively. He saves our life all the time, being available whenever he can. He helps set up the whole damn show, same as I do, same as he does. It's made us emotionally rich and financially poor. <laughs> <laughs> We're not finished yet, we're just starting. And that, that is the key thing there, that is what we're trying to grow is to keep Pro Wrestling Eve just growing and keep that movement, keep that passion, never ever sell out, never ever be forced to be something different and other than what we are. Tarantino said what he said, I'm just going to release what I love and assume that there might be someone out there like me. And that's what it is, we put our heart and soul in it together. Eve is the way forward and the promotion of work in 2017, trust me. It's so weird because I never was into wrestling before I did GLOW. But um, I, as I was doing it, I was like, this is weirdly, like, perfectly my world. You know, it's like misfits and, like, okay, female ladies and empowerment. Gentlemen, I've just been, to just been told that the, uh, the people that have booked the venue for tonight are here in 20 minutes. Okay? Get out! And there's a, and there's a wrestling ring up. The businessman is um, an amalgam of fascists. It's whoever you want it to be.